Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Michelle. Uh, I tend to mostly do fashion hauls and some travel vlogs here and there. So be sure to subscribe so that you can keep up with my content. In today's video, I think it's basically going to be like a part two to my video that I posted recently, which was like four top trends for autumn. And then like it was kind of like a haul with loads of autumnal pieces. I reckon this is kind of like a part two. I've got loads more autumn pieces that I'm really excited to show you. I've got some shoes, some bags, and I'm going to try stuff on. I'll, or I'll insert clips of me trying stuff on, talk about how I'd style them, what I like about them and what size I got so that you guys all know. I'm also going to link everything in my description box below so if you're looking for the item you can find it there. If they have sold out I would have put an alternative so that you guys can get something similar. Yeah I think we should just go straight into it. I'm really excited to show you what I've got. I've got stuff from Cezanne, Pretty Lavish, H&M, ASOS, Forever New and a bit of Karen Millen as well so yeah I think I'm gonna start with Cezanne I got this while I was away in Turkey and I was just so excited to try it on but I couldn't because I wasn't here but when I got back I was just really excited because this cardi just looks so fluffy I do love a good cardi I kind of figured that out last year because I found myself constantly buying them I feel like they're really easy to layer and it's kind of like great when you're not ready to commit to a full jump and you know you might get warmer later in, on in the day a cardi is like a great way of doing it um and i also got a leopard print belt because as you might have seen in my last video i spoke about leopard print and how it's really trendy and i feel like if anyone's really scared of prints or anything too busy this is a really easy way of kind of injecting it into your outfits or wardrobe but i also wanted to say going back to the cardi i'm always looking for like really good quality items i feel like will last longer and i'm really mindful about choosing good quality materials so i think this is like a wool mix 34 percent kid mohair 34 percent wool 27 percent polyamide and five percent elastane so ideally i don't want the polyamide in there but i think it just helps kind of keep its shape and I don't know if it's just maybe to do with the quality or the knit itself but ideally you want mostly wools and cottons they're really good at keeping you warm they're natural fibers and it's more breathable as well this is quite like a fluffy knit i don't know if, you, if it shows up but it's kind of like fluffy and i'm kind of scared that it might like get fluff everywhere i really like the color i love a camel color for autumn winter and i love that the buttons go all along i even like the shape of the pocket i just think it's a really cute cardi and I'm already sweating in it, I can feel it. Um, let me button it up to show you how it looks buttoned up. The yeah, thing that I would change about this is make it more cropped. That's just purely because of my height. But it's such a beautiful cardigan that I can't really complain. I think I'd mostly wear it unbuttoned. I also just like the shape, it's quite relaxed and it's just really cozy. And yeah, it's just really cute. I think this would be nice with like an all beige, neutrally look. Or even like an all black look and have this on top. I think that would be very cute. Or even with some jeans and a white top like this. Also, should probably mention what I'm currently wearing. So earrings and ring, like my last video, are Dukes and Moom. Love it. I literally wear them all the time. It's kind of embarrassing how much I wear them. The top is a H&M long sleeve. I think it's a merino wool. I think it's 100% merino wool. Let me just check the tag. Yeah, so I just had a look and the tag says pure merino wool. It's 100% wool. So I'm currently sweating in it because it's quite sunny and warm outside. Again, great quality and that's what we really are aiming for. And I know it's gonna be great for layering in the winter or even just wearing this with like a light jacket on a warmer day is perfect. And then jeans are from River Island at ASOS. I like the studding detail. I think I mentioned it in my last video that studded eyelets, all that kind of stuff is going to be trending. So I've been keeping an eye out for it. And luckily I saw these. I had to cut them raw because I'm petite. Um, but I like the way they fit. I like that they're low waist and they're quite baggy. These are a size eight. Surprisingly, I tend to go for a six. But I saw these in an eight and I just thought, let me just get some relaxed jeans. And actually, I love them. They're a great kind of like straight leg jean next up i think i'm going to touch on some suede items that i've got recently i found this bag on amazon amazon i know and it's just like a really good dupe for the uh the row bag and i love that you can just like throw everything in it i used it for work 
this week that's just gone. I like the gold detailing, the gold buckling is just right up my street. I like that you can wear it like on your shoulder, but I think it looks nicer like this, held like this. Just think it's just a really easy bag. I've got some junk in there at the moment, but yeah, it's just great. It even has like a buckle in the inside to kind of like lock it in place, which is quite handy. But yeah, just a great all round bag and very trendy. It just feels very like chic. I love the deep dark brown. Then, I came across these shoes on H&M. They're like a kitten heel pointy shoe. Guess what? They are leather, which is incredible. That's what we want around here. I love a good leather piece. I like a good leather jacket. I feel like they just last longer. They take your shape and they just feel like a nicer quality and kind of look a bit more expensive as well. So when I saw these on H&M, I was just like, I need those. And they just go so perfectly together. I just think it's a match made in heaven. Like the browns are literally the same. The only thing is with the shoes. So my usual size is a UK size five, which I got them in a size five. But when I was trying them on, they just felt like the back kept flopping off. I kind of wish they were like sling back so that it kind of didn't have that issue but i think with some wide leg jeans wide leg jeans and this bag and these shoes i just feel like look so cool and effortless if you can't get your hands on this i also found an alternative at asos i kind of ordered them at the same time and then i think i've decided i'm going to keep this one well i've already used it so i'm going to keep this one but it's just a great option to show you as well it's very similar very similar size as well like that this is just more round and this is a bit more like boxy and their width, this is slightly bigger in general. I think that's why this is more practical for me, like work-wise. Browns are pretty much almost the same. This is a bit lighter, I'd say. And they also have gold buckles at the side. But yeah, this is the ASOS version. This is the Amazon version. I'll link both of them so that you guys can choose what suits you best. Next up, I think I'm going to show you some other shoes that I got recently. Before I went to Brussels, I got myself these adidas i think they're called sl72 og i got them in this like brown burgundy and buttermilk yellow color i don't know if you know this about me but i was obsessed with yellow like buttermilk yellow over the summer and then going into autumn i was obsessed with brown and burgundy and i just thought this was like a match made in heaven this was like all my favorite colors in a shoe i love that they have like a gold detailing there and i just I'm obsessed with them. They aren't the most comfy, I must admit that. Like normally Adidas shoes are super comfortable. These ones for some reason get really like painful at the back here. So I blistered really bad in them. But I think after a couple of wears they'll get easier. And I'm kind of willing to take that pain just because they look so cool. I love them. I love them with a jean or just like a black trouser. I think they look really cool. And it's just the colors that have me in a chokehold to be honest. Right, next up I'm gonna show you some items that I got recently from Forever New. So I got this white bomber jacket and this like ruched kind of cap sleeve top. I'm gonna to try on the bomber to show you what it looks like. But this is what the bomber jacket looks like. I love the length of this to be honest because I don't like when they are so long. Um, and I think this just sits in the right place. The good thing about Forever New is they actually have a lot in their petite range, which is ideal for people like me. I like this material, I think it's like a nice texture and I didn't have a white cropped jacket so I felt like this was very much needed in my wardrobe. It's a great wardrobe staple, I feel like it's great for work, it's great for like casual vibes and yeah it fits really cool actually, it's got a really nice shape and it just feels like a great quality too. And then from Forever New this black top, it's got ruching down the side and ruching along the shoulder as well, it's got a really nice uh, fit to it. It is like a longer top and I don't normally go for like long tops. I'm more of a cropped top kind of girl But I tried it on with these jeans and I thought it was quite cute and it was quite flattering as well I think it's great for work and you can also dress it up Like I can imagine it with like some wide leg smart trousers and some heels and like you could go out for dinner with that kind of vibe Or you could wear it with jeans like these and then kind of just like throw on some trainers and make it casual I can see myself definitely wearing this to the office because it's quite smart, but not too smart I don't know about you guys, but I have a really casual Office culture, so it doesn't really require like a blazer and like smart trousers But sometimes if you want to feel smarter, this is a great way of doing it and also I got that in an extra small. 
Then I think I'm gonna touch on burgundy. I did mention this in my last video, but I couldn't help but buy some more. <laughs> um, I got this roll neck Pima cotton long sleeve top from H&M. It's just kind of similar to what I'm wearing here, but it's like roll neck, so it goes a little bit higher. I also ordered a headband from H&M. It's like a darker burgundy shade, so it doesn't match exactly, but I kind of don't hate them together. Like I, I thought I'd be picky about them matching exactly. But actually you don't really need to i'll insert a clip of me trying them on because i did a try on haul over on my instagram and tiktok but i feel like they just go really nicely and they're very casual but cute vibes as i mentioned at the beginning i'm really usually aiming for like cottons and wools and i feel like this is perfect because it's 100 percent cotton and it's more breathable and it's just nice to layer with as well I think it'd go great with my burgundy coat that I got from Karen Millen, like I showed you in my last video. Also sticking with the burgundy theme, I went into a H&M in London, in store, and so I'd seen this online, but it had sold out. And then I saw this just sat by itself behind the till, and I asked the guy, like, is that for sale? And he was like, I think so. He had no idea. So I was like, I'm going to buy that. I had no idea how much it was. There was no um, label in there. I guess it was someone's online return or something but I just thought how expensive and chic does this look it is very oversized it's not like I need an oversized clutch but I just thought how incredible is that and I tried it on with the roll neck and the headband it just looked really all put together and for high street I think it looks really chic and kind of expensive i want to say quite luxury because there's no branding <laughs> the croc just has like a really nice effect and it's absolutely huge so you can literally fit everything you want in there um i did actually consider going to work with this um and stuffing my laptop in there but i don't think that'll be an easy commute to be honest but yeah that's how much i love it i just think it's so cool i'm just i'm really keen to get this whole look in my head shot somewhere in london like do some street style looks because I just love this and yeah I think burgundy is here to stay so definitely get your hands on that I do think this is currently um, on notify me on H&M so I will probably put I don't know if there are any alternatives but I'll try and link something similar or I'll put the product code in the description box as well so you can find it and then also I grabbed these heels from H&M they really really reminded me of the Loewe, I think they're called the toy pumps, I think. They're leather, these are genuine leather, which make them super soft and comfortable. The heel isn't as exciting as the Loewe ones, but to be fair, these are H&M, they're high street. I'm not expecting too much from them. And I like the little round shape. I think that'll be super comfortable because sometimes pointy can really squash your toes. I just think they're so soft. And obviously they're like a burgundy, like a dark, deep burgundy. So they'll kind of go really nicely with anything burgundy in your wardrobe and they are quite different as well like I like how different they are they're not your usual heel they're just quite like unique they also even have like a an elastic I don't know if it's visible I don't know how to show you it best but there's like an elastic to hold your foot in which is really smart super comfortable they're really easy to walk in I had a little walk around the house with them when I tried them on and yeah I just really like these I just don't know how much I'm gonna wear them purely because I don't go out much wearing heels but I do really love them and I just think they're quite fun to be honest then kind of carrying on from the burgundy theme this is more like not really a burgundy but it's more like a deep wine red color I saw this on ASOS it's a new look bag actually and I just thought it's really cute I've got it in the black which I got last year and I did wear that quite a lot and I just thought the red is really beautiful. I really don't need another bag. Like I'm constantly buying bags recently, but it's just, I just, I love a big bag. And unfortunately I can't fit my work laptop in there. That's the only thing I'm a bit sad about. So I might return it purely because of that. But I just think it's a really nice, cute bag. It will just elevate any plain old outfit. This is a Bottega dupe, by the way, if you don't already know. I love it. It's not genuine leather, um, but it's really cute. So then I did get some more basics from H&M alongside this one. I got these two turtleneck or roll necks. Unfortunately, they aren't cotton or wool. I don't actually know what they're made of. They're like a fine knit short sleeve. I've been seeing a lot of short sleeved jumpers recently and I quite like them actually. And I think they're really good for office days because personally i don't know about anyone else but i commute into london and taking the tube can be very very warm on the way there and the way back and sometimes the office is 
warm too it can be cold sometimes so i feel like a short sleeve jumper is actually really a good idea got them in an extra extra small i don't know what possessed me to do that but it actually wasn't too bad i think they just they're meant to be baggy up here and then like more tight on this like waist bit they sit a bit higher up which is nice and yeah i just think they're great i just i'm a bit iffy about the black one like it doesn't look like the best quality uh, it might be because it's like a more affordable version, but the grey feels like a nicer quality, I think. Um, it's like a grey mall, and I think they're just great wardrobe staples. Just easy to have, really. Also, from H&M, I got these two Cardis. I love a good Cardi, as I mentioned earlier. And these, I was really intrigued by them because they looked a lot fluffier. And let me tell you, they are quite thick. Like, they're quite like a bouncy i don't know they feel really squishy and like when you wear them they feel like a lot thicker than the usual cardies you see on h&m i love both i'm not going to keep either just purely because i have so many cardigans i cleared out my wardrobe when i got back from turkey last weekend i brought all my winter stuff down and guys i have so many cardigans that i just don't need these but i thought if anyone's on the hunt for a cardi I found some so I just needed to show you they feel quite nice they are fluffy I think they might molt slightly the more you wear them but they just feel so soft stretchy and comfy and I think they're both wardrobe staples purely because they're not crazy colors they're really easy to like mix and match with whatever you've got I feel like you could style the gray one as an all gray look or like a gray and burgundy combo and then anything pretty much neutral or even like denims like there's so many ways you can wear these and i got them both in an extra small so they are quite oversized i'd say so maybe stay true to size depending on how you want them to fit you could even go even bigger depending on what you like but i love both of these i think they're so cute and i love the contrast trim on this beige one then i got a couple more cardies I also got this one from H&M and it's got like sparkly buttons. How cute are they? And then it's got like, kind of like a frill, like a knitted frill and the pockets are super cute. And this fits really tightly. I got it in an extra small and it's just so cute. I feel like you could wear this for like drinks on a cold night out if you wanna be like, you know, fancy with like a mini skirt or like some smart trousers. The fact that it's like a beige color makes it more wearable easy to like match with everything else in your wardrobe another cardi that i got <laughs> recently which i have not even taken the tag off yet i got this before i went to turkey didn't have time to sort my cupboard out but um i got this from karen millen they kindly gifted it to me and i love the color of the brown it's like a tobacco color and i kind of envisioned it with like lots of other brown accessories like a belt or my bag or these new kitten heels like maybe that would go really nicely i wonder Ooh, chic yeah i love that and i love that it's got gold buttons i got it in a small and it actually fits quite tightly i might show you now put it in a small thinking it would be like baggy but it's quite like a skinny fit uh, i quite like it open actually quite nice let me show you buttoned up i wish it was slightly more cropped purely because I'm a five foot two. Can you see what I mean by like, it fits a little bit more tight. I think it's more so the sleeves. With a brown bag, so put together. I love that. I just think quality of some caramel and stuff is a lot nicer than say H&M or ASOS. But of course it is probably a little bit on, more on the pricey side, but I think it's more worth it if you're willing to spend a little bit more. But yeah, love the color, love the buttons. And just bear in mind the fit if you want it to be bigger, size up. Another item that I got from um, Karen Millen was this brown suede leather belt. It's such a nice brown. And of course, you know, my whole brown situation, I'm loving it. The only thing is they only had size M to L and that's really big on me, unfortunately. So I'm hoping I can go, what are they called? Cobblers? That sounds wrong. I feel like that's the wrong word. The place where you can get your shoes sorted out fixed i really like the gold and i love that it's a genuine leather and it's a really nice suede that will suit so many of my accessories then i got this little crop jacket it's like a teddy material i really love this edge stitching i think it's so cute it's like not lined or anything but of course i like a crop jacket and i think it's great for this time of year when you don't want anything too hot i just think it's really cute I don't need it, that's my only issue. I really like it, I really don't need it, but it's so cute. I think the contrast is so beautiful. 
and yeah it's just a really great fit very comfy easy to throw on great with anything neutral that you've got by the way i got that in a size s because i didn't want it to be too tight and i think it's a great size on me that was from asos by the way and i also got these trousers from asos and this belt also from asos i'm still debating whether i need these but they're a petite wide leg trouser i think they're really small and are just a great option to have in your wardrobe great staple perfect for term as well and i think they'll be good going into spring as well so basically you can wear them throughout autumn winter and spring i'd say and they're elasticated at the back i got them in a oh also by the way they're petite i think i got them in a size six for some reason i can't even see the size anywhere and yeah i really like them i think they're cute and simple and then also from asos i got this belt i really like the buckle i think it's just cute it's like a little pebble i think it's good to like elevate any little basic outfit like imagine that on an all black outfit i think it's quite nice i think the color of the belt is like a brown i just think it's cute simple but just interesting it makes it a little bit more interesting doesn't it then also from ASOS, I saw these trousers. Okay, I feel like this is not doing them justice. But so the front of them have like a belt like this and then it's got a zip up the back and they're sheer all the way throughout and they're like, they've got like a crease front, which is really chic and it's got like a short underneath. So you're not flashing anyone. They are just so cool. They sit low, they're like a low waist trouser. They are currently too long on me because they don't come in petite. So I need to have them taken up. It's got like a nice finish at the hem, so they're quite like neatly done. And I just think they're so cool. To wear these on like a night out or something, I just think will be so fun. And I just love that the belt is quite interesting. It's not that boring and it, the, the pockets are quite cool. And yeah, I just love these. I think they're so cool and they just don't look high street at all. I also got some black trousers from Karen Millen. They're petite. I don't know what on my rail has caused all this fluff, but there's a lot of fluff on them. But I got them in a size or petite because i've had some karen millen size six petite which i'm normally a size six but for some reason they were big on me i don't know what's happening i don't know if it's me or the trousers i'm not sure but normally karen millen fit quite small so i don't know maybe they're not meant to be that tight i really like these they're quite like peg leg style they sit higher up the ankle so i really like them to show off like trainers or even like some heels like some ankle boot heels i think would look really cute with this they just fit like a glove and they're very flattering they kind of like have a nice shape on your bum um because i hate when trousers just make you look really frumpy and yeah, i'd highly recommend getting petite smart trousers from carol Millen because they fit really well i love them and i think they're great for work and i Probably will be wearing them a lot to the office. They look so short on camera. From H&M, I got this oversized denim shirt. It's kind of one that you just throw on top. And I love the pocket. I was drawn to the sleeves. I just think they're quite like big and fun. I love a big sleeve. It's also quite long. And I can imagine doing like a double denim look with this. And then like the dark brown suede leather accessories, I feel like would look great. The only thing I find hard sometimes is when the top is like a statement top. I don't really know how I'd wear a jacket on top of it. So that's the only thing that I feel like I might, might not get as much wear out of it during autumn, but maybe some time in spring, possibly. I got it in a size extra small, so definitely stay, you know, keep to your size because it's quite oversized. It just feels like a really nice shape and quality, and I really love this. And I got some jeans recently from Marks and Spencers, which I haven't decided on yet, but I'll show you them. I feel like they match really well. So these are the jeans from M&S. Can you see they pretty much match i think i think on camera they look better but i think in real life like the stitching is more like yellow and this is more like orange in real life they're a wide leg high rise jean and the reason i got them is because i kept seeing them in store and they never had my size just decided to look online and luckily they had a size six short like petite and uh, that's the good thing about the MS jeans is they have different lengths i love this like deep indigo denim i'm really drawn to it uh the only reason i haven't decided on them yet is because i actually ordered an autograph um pair of jeans as well and they're coming separately in another delivery so i kind of want to compare them to decide and i would have shown you them as well but i just couldn't wait to film but these fit really nicely they're a great length i can't complain like they're a really good jean so the autograph ones will have to be I don't know how they'll be any better than these. They are more expensive than these ones. So I might just keep these just because they're cheap and cheerful. So this, 
I have a story about this. I saw this set on ASOS online. It's from River Island. And I just thought that would be so fun for like dinner or an event or something fun. And it's like a feathery skirt and then the top's got like feathery cuffs. And I just thought it was so cute and it looks really good on the model, which I'll insert a picture of. And then I tried it on and the image that came to mind was that scene in White Chicks when <laughs> they're wearing like those swan outfits. And I was just really sad because <laughs> I really liked the idea of this look. So I'm, I'm just really sad that that's what I could see in my head because I really wanted it to work and I thought it'd be really good for like a really fancy dinner with some heels or boot heels or big gold jewellery and just making it really fun and I don't know dressy but I think the skirt is gonna have to go back. I'm tempted to keep the top and just tuck it into some smart trousers or jeans and you could still make it dressy like that but I think the skirt maybe gives it the you know the white chicks scene. <laughs> really sad about that but yeah unfortunately I don't think I'm gonna keep the skirt but I really think this is very cute. The feathers are really nice and I think this is really fun going into like you know Christmas parties and that kind of season. I know it's still early but get it before it sells out kind of vibe. And finally, I wanted to show you this dress from Pretty Lavish. I saw it in their PR showroom when I went like, I wanna say it was about last month and they were nice enough to send it to me because I said I'd liked it. And it's got like a long tie belt situation and it sits quite low on the waist, her mini dress. It's just very soft and fluffy and it just feels really nice and cozy. I can imagine wearing this with like some cowboy boots or knee high boots just wearing this on like a warmer autumn day. I think this would look nice even dressed up with some heels. I think that'd be really cute. You know when you wanna go out but you don't wanna be freezing cold um, for like drinks or dinner? I think this would be a really good item to wear for that kind of occasion. It's still yet to be worn but I just love the feel of it and I really like the fit of it when I tried it on. So yeah, a very cute item and of course brown is very perfect for the season at the moment so you can't really go wrong with this. So I thought that Pretty Lavish dress was going to be the last item but I completely forgot. I got these socks from ASOS there and other stories and they are cashmere. They are 93% cashmere and 6% polyester and 1% elastane. Sad they're not 100% cashmere. But I think these are really comfy and cosy. I think they'd be good going into winter. I probably, I can imagine myself wearing them at home when my feet are frozen. I had a vision to wear them with Birkenstock um, Boston mules. So maybe I'll do something like that with these. But yeah, I just thought I'd quickly show you these because I think they are just perfect. I really like the colour of them as well. So I think I'm going to close it out there. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you found some items that you liked. Comment and let me know if I've forgotten to mention the sizes or anything you need to know. Just comment and let me know. Let me know what you're going to get your hands on. And thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And see you guys soon.